Hello guys, um, this video is aimed at those students who are in year 7, 8, that sort of area, possibly 9, those of you who are starting to get into spreadsheets, so maybe even like those of you who are trying it out in primary school, that's cool, um, this is like the basic uh, video, like if you've done spreadsheets before, this is still great to watch as a refresher course, um, it's going to focus on the absolute essential things that you need to know about spreadsheets, so let's get into it. The first thing you need to know about spreadsheets, and I'm going to write the key words as we go along. The first thing you want to know about spreadsheets is that they are basically a giant calculator. Um, they use formulas to help us calculate an answer. Okay, so we're just doing some keywords here. So we're going to calculate an answer. Now, all spreadsheets start off with an equals symbol, and then they use cell references. Uh, let's get the spelling right. Cell references. Cell ref. References. There we go. They use cell references and what we call an operator. So that includes the addition sign, the subtraction sign, the divide sign, which is actually a forward slash on a computer, and a multiplication sign, which is an asterisk. Now, I strongly recommend if you've got a keyboard with uh, the numpad, which is usually on the right hand side of the keyboard, use that because you've got all the right symbols there, you've got all the numbers there. It's the best place um, to put your hand when you're using spreadsheets. Fantastic. You know, really get used to using that. Try and avoid using that top row on the keyboard above all the letters. It's slower. You've got all the right controls on the right-hand side on that number. Okay, so let's look at these keywords and see how they relate to the spreadsheet. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got here a, a spreadsheet which contains some test scores for uh, five students. We've got Anthony, Beth, Charlie, Deb, and Ethan. Now, uh, I want to add up basically the scores that each student got. Now I could do this manually and type it in. So I could say, right, uh, Anthony has got 10 plus 9, which is 19 plus 11, which is 30. I could type that in. Now I could do that for all the students, but what would happen if, say, Anthony redid the second test and scored two more? Well, this would have to be manually changed to 32. And I don't want to do that. The point of using spreadsheets is that it will do it for us. So let's see what actually happens. Let's reset that back and then take a look. So all formulas start off with an equals symbol. Remember the keywords? We've got equals. I'm going to select the first cell reference with the first score in, which is B2. I'm then going to use an operator. In this case, I want to add up the number. So I'm going to use the addition symbol and then add up each score using the correct cell reference. When I'm done, I press enter. Remember that score of 30? Remember Anthony retook the test and scored 11? Well, if I type in 11 now, the score changes to 32. Fantastic, it's done the work for us. That's what spreadsheets are about. Let's take a look at that again. Equals the first cell reference plus the next cell reference plus the next cell reference. Press enter when done. There we go, we've got 30. Let's do it one more time. Equals the first cell reference plus the next cell reference plus the next cell reference. Okay, 21. Right, let's take a look at that. We've got if you look at these formulas up here, we've got B2, C2, D2, B3, C3, D3, B4, C4, D4. They go up in order. If I highlight those things and then drag down using this little symbol here, you'll notice that my mouse changes to a thinner cross. When it does that, I can drag it down and it automatically changes the reference for me. So now I've got from B4, C4, D4, D, uh, B5, C5, D5, B6, C6, D6. It's done it for me. All right. Now let's add up the totals for the whole of test one. Okay. Equals the first cell reference plus the next 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 one. Press enter. There we go. We've got 41. Do that one more time and then we'll try the shortcut. The first cell reference, the next cell reference, followed by the next one, the next one, and the next one. Okay. Let's do the shortcut. Let's drag it across. It's worked beautifully for me. Now let's take a look at the average. Averages are worked out by adding up the total and then dividing by the number of, uh, well, in this case, it's the students. So we've got five. So I'm going to do the first way, which is the slow way, equals the first score plus the next score plus the next score plus the next score plus the next score. Close my brackets because I want to work that bit out first. Think of maths and bottomus. Divided by five. Okay. Now, I had to do a very long formula. But the nice thing about this is I could drag it across and it works it out for me. Brilliant. But I want to see the more efficient thing, uh, the more efficient way of doing this. We've already worked out the total. Here is 41. 
So let's use that number in that cell. So I'm going to do equals that cell, B7, divided by 5. It's giving me exactly the same answer. Let's take that, take a look at that again. Equals that cell, in this case it's C7, the total, divided by 5. Okay, once I've done that, I can just drag it across. And we're good to go. One last thing I'm going to show you. Highlight the data. Use these tools up here. Increase decimal, decrease decimal. If I want to decrease decimal, it removes a decimal and it rounds up. If I want to increase the number of decimals, use the increase decimals. Uh, I'm quite happy with one decimal place, so I'm just going to use decrease again and leave it as one decimal place. So to summarize, we have a spreadsheet. Spreadsheets are like giant calculators. They use formulas to help us calculate the answer. All uh, formulas start off with an equals. They use cell references, and then you can use an operator such as addition, subtraction, the forward slash for divide, and you've got the asterisk for multiplication. Remember to use the numbers by the numpad as it is the best place to put your hand when using spreadsheets. It's the most efficient. In the next video, we're going to start looking at advanced formulas. I'm going to show you how you can use some of the advanced tools to help you calculate your answers even faster than we did just now. See you in a bit.